Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. So I got an email from someone. Uh, he's a lawyer, a young man, uh, been working in his job for a couple of years now. And, and his firm had recently undergone a change, his law firm had. And I think some of the people that he's now working with, uh, uh, maybe one or two of them are difficult to work with. And he emailed me and he asked me, you know, do you have any thoughts for how to handle working with people uh, that, that are just really difficult to work with? Or, or, you know, maybe it's someone in your family that's difficult to work with, though that wasn't his situation. But, but you know, we get around people that can be difficult where you've really almost got no choice but to be around them. And, and how, as a believer, can we do something about that? And, and he said, you know, might make a good video thought for the day. So here you go. What I want to do this week are deal with some emails that I've gotten, including this one from this gentleman, that all seem to revolve around a, a, a constant concept. And it's the concept of persevere. I don't know how often you use that word, uh, but perseverance or persevere is a word that that is actually found in a number of Bible translations. And, and there are several different Greek words that are used to translate into this idea of persevering. The main one that's used, though, almost all the time, is this Greek word hupomeno. Um, hupomeno is, is a, an idea of staying somewhere longer than you'd be expected to. Uh, I think it might be that unwanted house guest who comes in. What's the old saying that somebody who stays so long, they're something about fish and they stay so long that they smell or something. I, I don't remember it. But the idea of someone uh, uh, staying in a, a, a course of action or a belief uh, or holding out or holding one's ground, uh, uh, enduring longer than you might expect them to. Uh, uh, beyond that expected point in time. In fact, hupomeno is used in reference to Jesus when he was an adolescent. In Luke chapter 2, verse 43, uh, Jesus and his family had gone to Jerusalem for a feast, and the feast was over, and the family was caravanning back up north with all of the family and relatives and friends and community members, and Jesus stayed behind because he was so engaged with the rabbis and the, the teachers and the, the priests at the, the temple. And, and that word for stayed behind is the same word for persevere. It's hupomeno. It's the idea that you stay in a place beyond the expected point in time. Now, why do I say that this word becomes important in situations like this young man who wrote me? Um, we find ourselves in life, at times in relationships, be they work, be they school, be they home, uh, wh wherever they may be, we find ourselves in relationships and, and positions that at times can be very trying. They can be emotionally and spiritually taxing. They can just wear you out, wear out your patience, wear out your joy, and just really, you know, beat you down. And scripture teaches that there is a time and place where the believer is able to hupomeno. He's able to endure and hold that place where most everyone else would fall apart. And the believer is able to do so because the believer knows that God is at work. And by God being at work, it's not simply God's going to make everything work out at the end, though that's part of it. But it's also that God is at work molding me and molding those around me through these trying, difficult times. And this is why James, the brother of Jesus, was able to write in James 5, verse 11, that we count as blessed 
those who have hupomenoed, who have persevered, those who have been able to, to stay longer. Um, because you've heard of Job's perseverance, he says, and you've seen what the Lord finally brought about. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. So that's the key. We're going to talk about it more this week, but we're going to talk about it within the framework of hupomeno, being able to, to exist in a place longer than you would be expected to because you know that the Lord full of grace and mercy is not only protecting you in that place, but is also making you who you need to be to serve him and to live your life successfully. So have faith, have confidence, have courage, knowing the Lord is who the Lord is, and persevere. We'll talk about it more tomorrow. God bless you.